Hey, 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 Life Uncloseted family. It is time for another Life Uncloseted Riff and Rant. I'm your host, Rick Clemens, and today we're going to go front the bully. And as you heard, if you listened to the episode just a couple of days ago, you know, bullies, they're cowards. But sometimes you got to go confront the bully within because even the bully in your own head is a coward. Because that bully sometimes is telling you that, you know, you just aren't worthy. And I've spent a whole week of just working with someone I love very dearly, my own kiddo, who's really struggling. And I don't want to go into too many details, but she's had a tough week. And as I observed what was going on for her and then spent some time in some emergency rooms and stuff, I listened to what other people were saying. And I thought, what? the fuck is going on here? Everybody bullies himself. I bully myself all the time. Other people bully themselves all the time. And trust me, you bully yourself all the time. Because sometimes you say, I'm not good enough. Sometimes you say, what's the point? Sometimes you say, I look like a mess. But see, here's the thing that when these little statements come up, so like, I'm going to share a few of the statements that came up this week that I observed. So I'm wasting everybody's time. Another bullying comment is, I don't know. And I'll explain why I think that's a bullying comment. Uh, What's the point? I can't figure it out. Who do you think you are? As you listen to those statements, each one of those is your inner bully going, I got you. I got you good and I'm not going to let you have any confidence or courage to be who you are. And the truth is, you may feel like you're wasting somebody's time. You may feel like you're wasting your own time. But you know what? As much as everybody talks about let's not waste time, every moment that we live and breathe is a moment that we're out of the closet to learn, to grow, to be who the fuck we want to be. And if you ever catch yourself saying, I don't know, That's a bully statement because see the bully wants you to not feel like you don't know because then it keeps the clutches on you. It keeps you from trying to figure stuff out. But what I prefer to say is I don't know right now, but I know I will. I know I will. I know I will. And then if you've ever caught yourself saying, what's the point? Well, guess what? That's your bully trying to make you believe there's no point in you doing anything. But in truth, there's a point to every freaking thing we do. Everything. There's a point to it. Whether you're holed up in a hospital ER because you just can't cope in life, whether you can't get the weight off. I'm struggling today, even as I record this, because I'm looking at my calendar going, what's the point of even trying to get to the gym? I'm not going to have a full 30 minutes to get a workout in. But guess what? The point is, I at least got there. And I at least am going to get done what I could get done. So the point is, I'm motivated. I will get there. I've already marked it off on my calendar that I've got 45 minutes later this afternoon. I'm going to put my little gym shorts on and my sweaty little t-shirt. I'm going to march in there. And I'm going to get as much done as I can because what's the point? The point is to at least show up. And then I know there's those of us that say, I can't figure it out. Yes, you can. You just haven't yet. But think about that statement. I can't figure it out. That's your bully saying you're stupid. You're not capable. But you can be. And maybe you don't need to figure out what you're trying to figure out. Maybe you just need to let it be, okay, I couldn't figure that out. Let's move on to something I can figure out. And my favorite out of this whole freaking entire list is, who do you think you are? And actually, my voice always says, who the fuck do you think you are, Rick? Man, I hate that bully voice when that question gets asked. Because here's who I am. I'm a guy who loves. I'm a guy who wants to take care of people. I'm a guy who can be pretty dang funny. I'm a guy who's a great dad and I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm a guy who is screwed up. Yeah, I screwed up majorly. I screwed up majorly waiting and waiting and waiting to come out of the closet. But who I am is a guy that wants to keep moving on and doing things and making the world a better place. And I'm also a guy who every once in a while, I just got to go get depressed. That's who the fuck I am. So each time one of these phrases comes up, I want you to take and flip them around and realize there is no waste of time. You don't know right now, but you soon will. What's the point? The point is 
it's a learning experience. And if you can't figure it out, you just can't figure it out right now, or maybe you're not supposed to figure it out. And who do you think you are? As soon as that voice comes up, you start telling your inner bully who you know you are. Because see, when we let the inner bully or any bully know, we are not going to take it anymore. We begin to thrive. And thriving means that we are beyond surviving. So what are you going to do today with your inner bully? Who are you going to confront? Maybe it's your outer bully. Maybe it's your inner bully. But I'm going to challenge you today just one time when one of those negative thoughts comes up to realize that's your inner bully. Your inner bully is fully showing up to challenge you to see what the hell you're truly made of. All right, folks, take care. We have another great episode coming up this coming week. I can't wait to share some interesting stuff with you. This next one's going to be an interesting one, and I'm not going to give you a whole lot of insights to what the next interview is. It is with a filmmaker. He's been on our podcast before. His name is Daniel Armando, and I just want you to have an open mind, and all I can tell you, it's going to be about race but it may not be quite what you think it is. So take care, everyone, and we will talk to you in just a few days, share with you, and never stop stepping out, stepping up, and stepping in to living your bold life, facing your fears, and stopping apologizing for who you are. Take care, everyone. Bye.